Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be reviewing a new product that just recently came out. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch Pressed Brightening and Setting Powder. I know everyone and their mother is obsessed with like the loose powder version of this. I personally have not tried it yet, but when I saw that this came out, that it was a new product, I was like, you know what? Let me try this and see what it does for me. So here we are. So before we get into it, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This really, really helps me. You get three videos a week, so do not miss out. Three videos a week, you guys. Please make sure you're subscribed. But if you wanna see me review this product, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, so as usual, I have this pulled up on Sephora, which is where I got it from. I am just going to read some details for you guys. I'm going to try it out for you, and I'm going to let you know if I think it's worth your money or not. So it's going to be a fun one. Before we get into, like, the fun part of it, I do just want to mention if you hear any crazy noises in the background, we have obviously our two cats, and then we're cat sitting for my parents, too. So we have four cats in the house, and it is insanity in here. It is just, like, nonstop things happening. So I apologize in advance if any of them come up to me. Maybe they will make an appearance. If not, you'll see them at some point. But anyways, back to why you're actually here. So I have this pulled up. It is, once again, the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch Pressed Talc-Free Brightening and Setting Powder. That is a mouthful. And then I got this in the shade Pound Cake because I feel like with the loose powder, that's the one that I would like hear everybody talking about. So I got Pound Cake, which is supposed to be a fair to light medium skin tones golden undertones brighten and disguise under eye darkness goes for 38 dollars, so it's definitely not inexpensive so hopefully it lives up to the hype and then let me see it is 0.29 ounces the highlights say pressed powder formula natural finish medium coverage hyaluronic acid fragrance free cruelty free it says a creamy, hydrating, non comedogenic pressed powder designed for targeting or targeted brightening, lifting, and setting for medium coverage and a natural finish. And then it says the fragrance free and talc free formula is enhanced with hyaluronic acid and an avocado derivative to create a bright, blurred, lifted, and flashback free finish. The most important part, I feel like, when it comes to setting powders, loose or pressed. No flashback, please. That's the worst. Oh my God, I remember like back in the day, one picture specifically, I remember because I posted it on Instagram and I think I just recently deleted it, I'm not gonna lie. But I had, I don't know what powder I used under my eyes, but the flashback was so insane. It was literally like stark white just under my eyes where I baked and you could so clearly tell. And looking back at that, I was like, why did nobody tell me so yeah this is very important to me no flashback and then it says the compact has a precision designed sponge for targeted setting and on-the-go touch-ups amazing and then the how to use says use a tapping motion to pick up a small amount of product and build up to your desired level of coverage so i'm going to use a brush for that so let's see what the packaging looks like. First of all, the box is super cute. I like it, but for $38, it's just like a plastic thing. So I, I do wish it was like a little like more expensive feeling than this, but it's okay. And then you open it, it does have a mirror, like the whole top half is a mirror and it's actually a really, really good mirror. It's super clear. So that maybe makes up for it a little bit and then here is the actual powder itself it's definitely bright and it says easy bake on the inside which i think is super cute and then let me see oh yeah oh wait a minute look this like lifts up and then you get this little like sponge thing at the bottom and then you have this whole area that is so cute okay attention to detail a plus i do wish like this part of it was a little nicer 
but I feel like the inside, oops, makes up for it. So anyways, let me like swatch a little bit on the back of my hand. It feels like silk. Like it literally, my finger feels like it's like slipping off. I don't know if I would say that's medium coverage. Um, don't mind all of my scratches from the cats. I feel like that's like almost light to medium. It doesn't look like it's like covering much, but we'll see of course. So I have my powder brush that I like to use for just any area that I'm highlighting. I have like all my other makeup applied already. So this is like the last step that I need to do. I have not touched like my under eyes, my chin, my forehead, like any of those areas that I want highlighted. I haven't touched any of those areas with a powder. I just bronzed up my cheeks with like a powder bronzer and did my brows, lashes, and lips but I saved the rest of my face to get powdered down. So that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna dip into this, like I'm gonna tap like they said, and I'm gonna put it in all the areas I want highlighted and see what it does for me. So let's get started and then we will talk details. Okay, I am back. You guys saw the whole process of that being applied to my face. First thing I noticed, like right after putting it on this side and not on this side, it really, really mattifies things down, which I appreciate because like I feel like when you only put cream products and this is like a known thing, but things look very shiny when you're only wearing cream products. So I love the way that this mattified things down without making my face look super flat. So it did what it needed to do without like dulling the look down, which I feel like some matte products definitely do sometimes. So I love like the look that this gave just those spots that I wanted, I guess, uh, powdered down and highlighted. So love that. I do feel like it did not crease or crepe my under eyes at all. I feel like they look pretty much like they did before I put any powder product on them, which is so important to me. I hate when they look like crepey and creasy and like, ugh, I just don't like that on me. So I'm really glad that that just kept them the way that they are. It really, really brightened them up too. I feel like I was like trying to compare after I put it on one side and not the other for a second. And I really feel like it definitely brightened the areas that I put it on, like my forehead, my chin, my under eyes, everything. So I really, really like that. I wouldn't say it did anything special for my pores though, because I did go down to like here where my pores are. And I don't feel like it like made them look any smaller or like, made them look airbrushed or anything like that. I feel like my pores, I'm not wearing a pore filling primer by the way because I wanted to see what this would do, but I don't feel like this did anything special necessarily for my pores. So keep that in mind. It does feel still kind of like creamy. Like I could still feel the cream products. Like you know how with some powders, like it just feels very smooth and it takes away that like tackiness of a cream. I feel like this didn't do that so much. So that's one thing I wish it did a little bit better. But overall, I feel like my skin does look very like bright and smooth and it just kind of, like I said, completed the look without making it look flat or boring or too matte. Like it did just enough. So if it'll look like this every time, I'll take like not feeling completely powdered down because I really like how this looks on me like I love how bright my under eyes look I just love how smooth everything looks again not necessarily the pores but it does look smooth so overall I do like it have I tried better there are powders that like really really have wowed me that are out there so maybe I'll do like a couple comparison videos between this and some other powders that I really love so stay tuned for that Overall, do I think it's worth it? Yeah, I think it's just a well-rounded good product. So I would recommend, but do I also think there may potentially be some better powders out there for the same or similar price? 
Yes, I do. So just keep that in mind. But if you were wanting to try this, if you had your eye on it, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. So that's it for today. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment and let me know what you think about how this turned out on me. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Let me know what other products you want me to review or just what other videos you guys want from me. Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. But stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.